Hello and welcome. In today's video I will be creating a Halloween card using this window die set and these stem sets as well as a brick embossing folder. I'm starting by coloring the edge of my card base with Momento Black Tuxedo and I am applying the ink directly to the card base using the ink pad. Next I am trimming down a panel and I am trimming off about a quarter of an inch which makes about 5 millimeters from two sides of an index card. Then I am cutting out a window using this die from some black cardstock. With the back side of an exacto knife I am scoring the edge of the window so it will be easier to fold the window open. And to, to make the fold I am using this thin metal ruler. Using the same window die I am cutting an opening into my panel. Then I have embossed the panel using this embossing folder and here I am showing you how I have positioned the panel since I have run the panel twice to the die cutting machine. From this watercolor set I am using this gray to color the panel and I am spraying a, an efficient amount of water on top of the color and then I am applying the color using an ordinary sponge. From this stem set I have stemmed this cat and the fish tank and now I am drawing a pumpkin since I don't have any images but I think it's quite easy to draw one. Most parts of my images I am coloring in using some inexpensive colored pencils and I am starting with a reddish brown and I am coloring the outline and here I am going over to some orange red followed by an orange and in the center I am coloring with some dark yellow. I am applying each color more than one layer so I will be able to blend the colors together. At the end I am going around the outline with a dark brown to add some more contrast. To give my pumpkin a neat look I am going around the outlines using a fine tip marker and then I am adding some eyes and a spooky mouth. color the tiny fish I am using these inexpensive markers and therefore I am squibbling a tiny amount of color to my craft sheet and I am spraying a bit of water and now I am kind of water coloring the fish and I am coloring the head and the fins in yellow. Now I am using some orange to color in the rest of the fish. For the upper edge of the tank I am using some blue. Since the rest of the fish glass is not that tiny I can continue coloring using some pen colored pencils and I am coloring the part above the water in some very light blue and then I have colored the plant in a dark blue and here I am coming back using the technique I've used before since I have forgotten to color the bubbles and now I am coloring the water using a mid-tone blue. For the ground of the fish glass I am using a dark yellow. 
For the cat I am using three different brown tones and I am again starting using my darkest color and I am first coloring the top of the, the ears and the tail and here I am coming in using a dark green to color the collar and now I am coloring some details and the outline using the darkest brown tone. Next I am coming in with my mid brown tone and each time I am changing the color I am blending into the darker color. In the center I am applying my lightest brown tone and again I am applying several layers to blend the colors together. Using some small scissors I am fussy cutting my images. For my next step I am coloring an index card with these three watercolors which are orange, green and purple and again I am applying the color using an ordinary sponge. create my sentiment I am using this window die which I am fixing on top of my colored index card in the orange part and I am using this stem set and now I am positioning the stems inside the window die and I am stamping each third letter of my sentiment. After I have run everything through the die cutting machine the result looks like this and then I am repeating the process with the rest of my letters and the other two colors. For the inside of the window I have chosen a scrap piece of pattern paper and here I am finding the right position and then I am adhering the piece using some wet adhesive which I am applying with a fine tip bottle. By request I am showing you how I adhere the panel using double sided tape to my cards. I am first peeling off the paper from four corners and now I can easily position my panel and as you can see if I don't like the position I can easily remove the panel again. And as you can see I can perfectly line up the panel this way. I can push it right or left up and down and after I am happy with the result I just pull away the paper strips. So and now it's time to create my little scene. First I am adhering the fish glass from the back side of the window and then I am adhering the window inside the opening of in the panel. And then I am adhering the cat on top of the pumpkin as it if it is standing on the pumpkin to be able to reach the fish. Now I am finding the right position for the letters and as you can see I have lined up the colors in the same order orange, green, purple and so on and then I am applying the letters with some wet adhesive.
to add some more interest to my card, I am stamping this leaf stem from the border stamp set in some cottage, Momento Cottage Ivy. After I have fussy cut the two stamped images, I am finding the right position and I am trimming down the two pieces into four pieces and now I am arranging them and adhering them to my card using some wet adhesive. And this is my card for today. I hope you had fun and enjoyed today's video. If so, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to check out all my other card making videos. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Bye.